Junk and tape become the tools for art and activism for Gina, a queer artist from a small town in Russia in the documentary film Queendom. The film premieres tomorrow at the Alamo Draft House as part of South by Southwest's film festival. And joining us to talk more about it is the director, Agnia Galdonava. Good morning, Agnia. Thank you Good so morning. much for joining us. Congratulations on, uh, on your latest documentary. I know you've, you've got a long list of others uh, under your resume, so this is, uh, this is exciting for you. Um, Thank you. Let's talk about Queendom and Gina. How did you come to meet Gina? Well, um, in 2019, I decided to, uh, to do a research for a docu-series about different drag queens, uh, and I want to go all over Russia. But then it very quickly changed because we met with Jenna, and I understood that I don't need anybody else. Is it Jenna? Not yeah. Okay, we're with Jenna. Um, I, I don't... I've, I, I don't know if we have clips or not of the documentary, but if we do, our viewers um, will get a sense of, of who Jenna is. This is, here it is, uh, Queendom. Um, it, what I read here is that what Jenna does is drag activism. Talk to us a little bit about her work. Well, um, initially she was, uh, you know, trying to find her unique style, and that's where she started to have an interest in political, um, aspect of it. So we kind of invent a new movement which called drag activism. Uh, and uh, But I think that Jenna is not a drag queen, she's an artist because she's way bigger and deeper than um, like the usual... Than the usual enter the en entertainment that you would get exactly. from, from the, uh, the, the very successful and, um, and, and very, very well done drag shows that, that we normally see here. Um, so Jenna protested the government on the streets of Moscow. What was that like? That must have, was it dangerous for her? It was dangerous uh, and uh, we had a uh, lot... Um, first time she went uh, to march for Alexei Navalny freedom, and um, somehow we were Alexei not Navalny being the opposition leader to uh, Vladimir um, uh, Putin's party. Exactly, yeah. And somehow we were not arrested there, but we were expecting it. And this uh, particular clip uh, is when Jenna decided to go and, uh, um, yeah, like state her position against the war in Ukraine. It's right after. 24th of February. Mm -hmm. So, in, and at this time, we both got arrested and we spent a night in jail. And after that, we decided that Jenna has to leave Russia. So Jenna is now in, in Paris. Paris. Uh, how is Jenna doing? She's is she is she still 21. She was 21 at the time of, of filming. Yeah. Right now, she just had her birthday on 21st of February, and she got 23 years old. Okay. And uh, well, she uh, she got her asylum. And um, she just, yeah, we are so sad that she's not here with us because we tried to, to bring her to Austin, but uh, her asylum papers were not ready yet, so. So um, right here on, on our screen, we've got some uh, the details in terms of the world premiere, the screening that is happening tomorrow at 6.30 at the Alamo Draft House. There are tickets available, so we encourage our viewers to go to the um, South by Southwest uh, film screening section. Um, Aniga Galdonava, the documentary is Queendom, once again premiering tomorrow at the Alamo Draft House. Uh, congratulations, welcome to Texas. I do thank hope you. you enjoy your time thank here you at you South so by Southwest, and thank you for telling Jenna's story. Thank you. Mm -hmm.